now and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Cassette Carnage. And today we are blasting Necrot's blood offerings on Tank Crimes Records for multiple reasons. One being that it fucking rules and if you're a fan of death metal there's no reason you should not be in love with this album already. And uh, they happen to share a drummer with the next band we are going to be reviewing. And that is Kalfa's Mental Enslavement. Holy shit. You guys know I love my Finnish Death Doom. And this is some Finnish Death Doom from California done so fucking right. If you're a fan of Demi Lick, imagine Demi Lick just without the super guttural vocals. And yeah, that's pretty much, holy shit, this rules. Total finished death doom worship. The riffs on mental enslavement are just fucking unbelievable. This is such a stellar release of, I mean, it's just five tracks, but this is five tracks that will have you fucking banging your head until your fucking brains blow out through your goddamn nose or some shit. Like, this is some serious, serious stuff, and if you're like a record label, like, yo, somebody put this out on vinyl, like, it, this, this is so fucking good. Like, I'm not just saying that, like, this is on Transylvanian tapes, and yes, this was part of the package, and no, I am not just saying this shit because I got sent some free stuff. If I don't think it's good, I'm gonna tell you guys, hey, I, you know, it might not be your cup of tea. This, just first off, if you've been around the scene for a while, just look at that font. Not the band logo, but just the mental enslavement. It just, they captured everything about old school death metal on this release. Up, like, up to the packaging, like seriously. And the fact that this is in analog form, that just fucking goes to show you, like, just how awesome this really is. Like, seriously. I mean, a lot of people will tell you death metal is meant to be, like, listened to. Like, when you're sitting, like, you know, in your car, like, fucking delivering pizza, smoking weed and shit, like, on some fucking hot-ass day like today. It's a pure oven outside. I'm sweating just sitting here. I have the fan on, which hopefully you guys can't hear. But seriously, like this just screams like 1992, 91. Like, and just by looking at that artwork, it's like, Chanel, listen to me. And that's what I did almost immediately. This was the first one of the, um, cassettes that was sent over that I really dove into because I had heard a couple tracks on YouTube and um, I was like yo this is fucking amazing like pretty much I forget what my actual comment was it might have been like wow and uh, Jesus Christ like the Oakland California death metal scene is unbelievable like seriously unfucking real like exhumed vastum neck rot like that, that that's just a small tiny tiny minuscule like amount of bands that exist in that scene that fucking rule like wait until i get into some more of these tapes because the other band i've been listening to battle hag Oh my God, that band is going to be huge. But let me get back into Mental Enslavement by Kalfa. This is just complete Finnish death doom worship and it's done fucking right. Like, like I said, the artwork, the logo, the font here, it just screams like 90s death metal. And it's just done so right. And you have James on vocals, who's also in Swamp Witch. So again, you have multiple band members that are in multiple projects, and every one of the projects is fucking incredible. 
I, I just, there has to be something in the water or maybe the weed. I, I don't know. Like, so there's something out in Oakland, California, Portland, Oregon. That there's something up there that makes these bands so fucking good. And this is a pure example of underground death metal that it's kind of meant to be underground. I know at the beginning I was like, hey, I really wish this was, was on vinyl. Part of me is kind of like it belongs on cassette. This is the way the band intended for it to be listened to. So you have to respect that sometimes and not be like, well, I don't have a cassette deck, so I can't listen to it. B-O-O-H-O-O. -O -O -O. I'm sure one of your aunts or something has a, has a tape player in their car. If you're tight with your family, it'd be like, hey, can you do me a quick favor? I want to check out this tape. Can you give me a ride around, like, the neighborhood? Let's go get some ice cream or something, like, or just go to fucking Goodwill, buy a tape player, like, I was lucky enough to listen to it on, uh, Bandcamp a while ago, and then I got to dive back into it yesterday, and, uh, luckily, I have a friend that has a cassette deck in his car, so I got to enjoy it the way it was meant to be listened to, and like I said, you need to respect the fact that a band even went through the fucking hard work to release physical music in this day and age. Like, seriously, it's it's awesome now. I mean, now I guess more bands are jumping on the fact that, hey, our fans want, you know, physical fucking copies of our music in their hands again. Like, you know, so let's get some CDRs going and let's bring that shit back. Like, no. If you've ever been in a band, or if you've ever had a band at a show try and hand you their demo, and it looks like this. Like, this right here is a mix of my, my band's last album, but it's ruined. And, uh, yeah, I don't have a computer to get the files off of it. Because I was told you could still get the files off of this because it's not a, it's not a music CD. But when a band would hand you like, oh, check out our demo, and it would be like a loose CDR or a CDR like in a fucking bag like this, I'm probably gonna throw it in the trash can to be honest, or it's just gonna sit in the fucking car. Now, if you go out of your way and like make yourself a band demo, like. I'm not going to toot my own band's, well, my old band's horn, but here is our 3-inch CD from 2006. This is the original artwork and stuff. I just wrote the lyrics to the one track and uh, pretty much wrote it like it's a suicide note. Uh, yeah, and... We made three inch CDs with this as the cover art and it pretty much says uh, SPT 2006, we are called Skeleton Proof Tanks and grief, grief full length out soon. So this was pretty much just a warm up for our full length album and you know people were spending money on it and shit like it wasn't you know this. Cause this is, this is bullshit. Like, I mean, I understand you went out of your way to make the music. Why not make the packaging worth having? And this is not a demo. This is just five killer tracks of finished death doom worship done fucking right from one of the best metal scenes right now in the country. And that happens to be the Oakland, California death metal scene. I think next to Denver, Colorado scene, like, that's probably the best in the country right now, followed by Portland, Oregon. And yeah, this is uh, Kalfa's Mental Enslavement on Transylvanian tapes, and just like I said, if you're a fan of Finnish, old school, brutal fucking death metal, then you have no excuse not to go to Transylvanian tapes, I'll put the link below. Check this out, and if you like it, which I'm sure if you're watching my channel and you're a fan of fucking death metal, 
that you are going to love this fucking band and love mental enslavement the way I love it already. I'm sure I'll be listening to this for a very, very long time. Hails to James and everybody else involved. Like, wow. Like I was saying, people that can multitask like that, be in multiple bands, run like, you know, little like independent record well, tape labels in this instance, like, wow. I can't imagine how busy and just the creativity alone it's just it, it's it deserves a fucking round of applause like and yeah i'm really really digging this kofa fucking mental enslavement killer fucking death metal get into this on transylvania tapes and we we're listening to their drummers other band necrot blood offerings on tank crimes records so fucking good again bay area death metal just unbelievable stuff get into this and uh yeah i will be putting links below so you have no excuse not to check out this stuff so here you go once more i do not have any download codes or anything you're just gonna have to go to the band camp and you know let your ears do your uh, fucking thinking and hopefully you have enough money in your wallet to snag one of these before it is gone. But yeah, mental enslavement, holy shit, five tracks of brutal Finnish worshiping death metal from the Bay Area and yeah, just amazing stuff. Transylvania tapes, fuck yeah. and gonna give this a fucking 10 out of 10 it, it's just it's it's seriously everything i love about death metal on the right fucking format to hear this style of death metal and just hearing it the way that the band wanted you to hear it that's just fucking awesome like that their gotham uh first press of the vinyl with them saying that it was meant to be heard on vinyl like to me, this was meant to be heard on cassette, and that's what we did. So, you could check it out on the Bandcamp, and yeah, Kofu, Kofa, <laughs> sorry, Mental Enslavement, get into this shit. Thanks for watching, Hails.